Hello everyone, welcome to Europe Education. I am Jitendra Tiyagi. So, as all of you know, the date of your preliminary exam for SCG PDTM 2023 is coming soon and uh, all the students should be in active mode now. Okay, and uh, you should feel very energetic, active and confident for your exam. Okay, whatever the preparation level is, you don't worry about that. Just uh, become activated and uh, keep revising till the exam all the concept which you have already studied okay so we will discuss many points in this video regarding your upcoming exam what should be the best strategy uh, to perform best in best way in this exam okay and what is the exam pattern what are the things to be done and not to be done all these points we will discuss in this video okay so you can prepare uh, with your PDF for descriptive paper also after 4th of September onwards, okay. Those who already joined, uh, they will continue and others also join, may join, okay. So now, first of all, I hope you have downloaded your admit card. Admit cards are available, okay. So you can download and you can read all the instructions carefully, your test center and uh, timings of the test paper. All these things you have to note down. Now, they have mentioned some important things to be brought to the exam center. So, don't forget to bring these things to the exam center. Okay. First of all, printed copy of the e-admit card. Okay. You have your admit card. Suppose this is your admit card. So, take a printout of that. Okay. And keep that with you while going to the exam center. Don't forget this uh, printed copy of the e-admit card. Okay. First thing. Then original photo ID. So, you should have a photo ID, original photo ID. Uh, issued by government agency uh, you should take your aadhar card all of have uh, all of you have aadhar card with you so best thing is to keep aadhar card with you but also uh, with aadhar card one more thing you can carry like a pen card you can have passport or driving license okay you should keep these ids with you at least one is compulsory okay but you should uh, advise is you should keep two okay so aadhar card and any one of these you can carry with you okay then transparent blue ball pen so this is important transparent means visible whose refill is visible like this is not a transparent okay you should have a transparent blue ball pen only not gel ball pen okay and that should uh, be smooth uh, in writing because you have to solve the problems at a fast speed there so check that your pen is uh, working well okay don't take it lightly then you should also carry one transparent water bottle okay koi bhi pani ki bottle you aapko leke jani transparent okay visible in, inside visible hona chahiye okay koi colorful nahi hona chahiye right then personal hand sanitizer uh, very small bottle you can carry with you and keep some extra passport size photos also okay right so if your admit card is not having your photo then you can affix those photos uh, uh, there in the admit card so these are the things to be brought to the exam center don't miss any one of them okay now what is next point that is exam pattern so all of you know this is a two hours exam exam okay so first of all you have to reach uh, before the examination uh, time okay when exam will start so before at least a uh, minimum 30 minutes before you should reach okay and ideally you should reach one hour before okay so don't uh, be late in reaching the exam center okay and now in exam center there will be total 150 questions in the exam paper uh, each question will carry four options out of four only one option will be correct okay and each correct question will carry one mark okay one mark now uh, negative marking so this is important the students were confused uh, earlier they were asking about negative marking so this time uh, 0.25 uh, one fourth part is the negative marking for each wrong answer 0.25 marks will be detected so don't guess the answer if you are not sure about the answers okay now question paper will be in only one language that is english okay it is not a dual language paper so in english it will be only okay now login id and password during exam when you will reach your exam center so there will be some computer you will provide will be provided to you so there you need to fill uh, one id login id so that you can confirm with the mentor also there so that will be your application id that is written in your uh, admit card that is application id i think so you can confirm with the examination uh, controller also there and uh, 
password will be provided to you 10 minutes before the exam start okay so now what is the next point strictly prohibited things so these things are strictly prohibited please don't have any one of these things with you during the exam okay you should not have any electronic device with you like you cannot carry mobile phone microphone mobile phone charger earphone earbuds calculator is also not allowed there any log table is not allowed there okay any digital table digital watch you should not have with you these things in the examination hall okay and uh, please don't carry any blank paper also with you okay before going to exam kindly check your pockets all your pockets should be checked okay and there should not be anything out of these things okay any blank paper any book any notebook anything should not be there in your pocket related to these things okay metallic wears also not allowed any like some students wear different kind of things so avoid those things bangles also avoided belt avoid bracelet avoid okay so sometime uh, you carry something with you and uh, the controllers of examination they curve you to enter in the examination center so that disturb your mind there okay so don't carry any such thing which they may ask you to remove in the examination center okay right so so that you don't get engaged in all these kind of discussions or arguments there okay so please take care of all these things now what is the strategy for best output so this is the most important part of the exam once you reach in the examination you log in paper starts okay so now what is the best strategy so, okay so everyone may have some different kind of strategy in their mind but what according to us is the best okay so first of all you know when we read a question when you see a question in exam first question suppose we started right and that question is tough we don't know the answer okay okay then we open the next question and again we don't know the answer so what may happen with you in that case your uh, confidence may decrease suddenly okay and then you may get demoralized so please avoid avoid this thing okay aisa nahi karna hai aapko exam mein aise ek do question char question aayenge aapko jo lagenge starting mein that they are tough you don't know the answer okay so no problem उन एग्जाम को क्वेश्चंस को देख के एकदम से डिमोटिवेटेड नहीं होना है बिकॉज देर आर 150 फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ओके सो यू मे बी नोइंग अलॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ दैम ओके सो एकदम से अपने कॉन्फिडेंस को फ्लैक्चुएट नहीं करना आराम से रहना है कूल होके ओके नाउ यू नो सम क्वेश्चन में टेक कैलकुलेशन लॉन्ग कैलकुलेशन सपोज एंड वॉट सम स्टूडेंट्स मेक ए कॉमन मिस्टेक सम क्वेश्चन इज देयर एंड दे स्टार्ट सोल्विंग दैट क्वेश्चन okay and then it takes time answer is not coming some mis problem is there so they keep trying to solve that and it takes around 10 minutes or 5 minutes so in the examination don't stuck on any question okay if you know the answer if you know that you are you can solve this easily solve otherwise move to the next question first of all you have a bucket in that bucket you should have some questions some so uh, correct questions you should have so more the questions correct questions you have that will increase your confidence more and you will be able to solve more and more questions there okay so maintaining your confidence level and don't stuck in any question leave that immediately if you are you think that it may take more time leave that just go to the next question okay and uh, i hope that uh, any section can be attempted you can go to any question in most of the cbts this is the case that from one question you can switch to any other question right so if they give you sections different sections like quantitative aptitude section reasoning section ipr section if there are sections available and you there is option of uh, switching to different sections so then what you can do you see what in what section you are the most strong okay so go to that section first and uh, read the question if you know the question take that question if you are able to solve the question that will take less time solve the question and uh, take that okay then move to the another question so this is the main thing you have to follow okay rotate yourself in different subjects like uh, you can start with ipr because in ipr there is no calculation required most of the questions are uh, memory based if you know the answer you can directly tick the answer so that will take hardly 5 to 10 seconds okay so current affairs also if you know the answer okay uh, your gs also static subjects like gs so there is no calculations required only the thing is you know the correct answer so 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू अटेम्प्ट ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन इन विच यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट यू नो द आंसर ओके देर विल बी अलॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर विल बी नोन टू यू बिकॉज यू हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन सो मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विल बी यू हैव गोन थ्रू दैम अर्लियर ऑल्सो ओके सो टेक दोज क्वेश्चन ओके एंड देन कम टू रीजनिंग सेक्शन इन रीजनिंग सेक्शन इफ यू फाइंड एनी क्वेश्चन दैट इज वेरी इजी कंफर्टेबल फॉर यू सोल्व दैट इमिडिएटली मूव टू एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन इन एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन ऑल्सो देर मे बी मेनी क्वेश्चन विच यू कैन डायरेक्टली सोल्व वेरी सो टाइम दोज क्वेश्चन विल टेक सोल्व दैट दोज क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो ओके एंड इन एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन इफ देर इज सम क्वेश्चन लाइक फ्रॉम सिंपल इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड दैट मे टेक सम कैलकुलेशन सो अटेम दोज क्वेश्चन एट द लास्ट ओके and in english also there may be some very simple question okay so uh, just go through english section also so you have to make a rotation don't stuck in one section for more more time okay don't stuck on one question for more time rotate yourself okay and try to increase your bucket got it if in sequence you are moving and all questions you know then keep attempting them go on go, continue and the, if you are stuck switch the uh, then go to the next question okay skip that and later on kindly check and if you know the correct answer then final uh, tick that okay and there will be different color also like uh, this is a, a question attempted okay and submitted you have submitted so there will be some color like green color okay and you have seen the question but you did not attempt so there may be some different color so kindly understand the coloring section also and uh, there may be some clock also in the examination hall uh, so you can use that for time man management also keep track of time also okay and uh, last 5 or 10 minutes you should see any question which you know but you did not tick up to now so don't skip those questions also sometime what happens student uh, try some question solve the question noted the answer in the uh, notebook okay you will get some uh, papers also there okay don't worry about the papers because you don't carry the paper with you blank paper you not carry with you you will get in the examination also you will get some diary or some uh, paper there to solve the questions in aptitude section okay so you some students make this mistake they write down the answers but they don't fill those there they don't tick in the computer okay so don't make this mistake also okay so these are the important things which you should remember okay and uh, don't have any kind of fear in your mind whatever number of question you have attempted just okay okay during the examination don't think about the result about the outcome what will happen after the examination don't uh, let come those ideas in your mind like uh, if uh, i am not qualified for this what will happen with my career what will will i do don't think all these things in your mind just that time focus on questions try to solve more and more questions increase the number because you have a limited time okay clock is moving so in that try to perform your best okay now uh, we have uh, two days for this exam so suppose your center is far from your hometown reach there one day before okay uh, don't do this kind of thing like uh, you are traveling from some train and you are reaching the same day uh, to the examination center uh, after traveling a lot of the whole night and then you are going to exam don't do this kind of thing just reach one day before in the city where your exam will be scheduled has been scheduled okay so that you take complete sleep also don't read full night before the exam like third on 3rd september you have exam so on 2nd september just go to sleep at 9 pm maximum okay take at 8 hours sleep because if you fully you take full sleep you will definitely perform better okay what some students do mistakes they ho revi keep revising all the things all the same night also okay and in examination they feel tired okay slippery uh, nature behavior is there coming okay so aise neend wali usme nahi rehna exam ke time pe exam ke time pe you should be fresh okay active energetic okay so every point is important which i have discussed here please take care of this and uh, once your exam is over don't think about the result how many marks you are getting okay because a lot of question a lot of students will be selected for the descriptive paper also so you may be one of them okay so you start preparing for the descriptive paper just after the exam third september you can take rest from the fourth september onwards again start preparing for the descriptive paper 
keep revising all the things okay all the best